Hey, what's up guys? Frank here with another video and today I will be unboxing my new e-bike that I ordered which is the Rise Blade 2. And so currently the e-bike that I currently have is the Red City 4. But the problem with the Red City 4 is that it doesn't have that much torque and the city that I live in is quite uh, hilly, it has a lot of hills. And so basically the reason why I decided to buy this e-bike here is because first of all I really enjoy the look of the Rise Blade 2 which is kind of like a mini motorcycle with the headlights in the front and I just basically enjoy the look of the retro uh, motorcycle style and so that's one of the reasons and the second another reason why I decided to choose this bike is because uh, it's much more powerful than my other Rad City 4 which only I think it only has like 40 or 45 uh, of torque and so this bike here pretty much has double the torque so it's much more powerful but also the motor is also more powerful because this e-bike here is a 1000 mo electric motor and so well this one is only 500 so it physically doubled the power also another reason why I decided to go with the blade 2 is I really enjoy fat tires because fat tires yes they had more resistance when you use the bike but I think they're much more stable and they're much more comfortable and they're the when riding the bike I think it's much much smoother and so because of that I really enjoyed the fat tires and the blade 2 has fat tires which I enjoy and so basically I decided to go with this bike because of the of the style of the fat tires and also the motor that is much more powerful okay and so we'll see what I decide to do with this one but uh, maybe I'm going to sell it if I really enjoy this one and whatever okay and so my plan with this Blade 2 e-bike is that I would be able to do um, basically everything at the same time, right? Because it has the dual suspension in the front and also in the rear and so I could use it to do mountain bike or some kind of outdoor adventure. Uh, I could also uh, go do Uber deliveries, food deliveries because I think it also includes some kind of uh, rack, rear rack, and so I could use the rack that I already use with my city, Red City 4, and use it on on my uh, Blade 2. That so that's another thing that I that I that I'm planning to do. The only thing that I'm worried about this bike is that I've read that this bike is actually quite small, and and because uh, we don't actually get to adjust the seat. So I'm worried that the bike is going to be a little bit too small for me because uh, I'm actually six feet, six feet tall and so I hope that the bike is quite tall enough and big enough so that I can pay, uh, use the bike effectively, right? And so the cost of this bike is around uh, 3000 Canadian dollars and uh, it has free shipping and there's also a bunch of... There was, there are also a bunch of stuff included with the bike, which is like uh, the fenders and also the primary battery. I didn't, I didn't choose the option to have the second battery. I wanted to get the bike first and see if I enjoy it. And then if I enjoy the bike, then maybe I'll decide to get the second battery if I go into long rides or whatever. And so th there's also uh, the rear rack that's, that is included and I think a bottle holder and a bunch of other accessories so I think that's pretty cool so you get with the bike you get a lot of accessories that makes the bike uh, quite complete which I pretty enjoy that okay and so I purchased this bike for three thousand dollars and I ordered it on February 6th and I just got it today and today is uh, February 13 okay it was actually estimated to get it tomorrow on February 14 but uh, it was a bit early I guess because I got it today okay so it took uh, pretty much one week instead of eight days okay so I just got it and so the box is pretty big okay it's pretty it's 
It's pretty big and also pretty uh, pretty heavy. And uh, the first thing that I notice here is that uh, the box is actually a little bit damaged. And uh, I mean, it's not that much. And I hope that the inside is still good. But I can understand that the box is so big and so heavy that you know, like it's just like the corners. I don't, I don't know. I'll show you. And so the box is pretty big and pretty heavy, but as you can see here, uh, here in the corners and also some places in the in the bottom of the box, like. The box is not in perfect condition, but I can understand that the box is so big. I don't know if you can see here, there's, there's a little hole here, a little hole here, also a hole in the bottom here. I don't know if you can see right now. So there's also here in this corner that is pretty that it is uh, a little bit damaged and so the box is a bit damaged but I can understand that it's so big and so heavy that you know I, I find it quite reasonable to be honest and so I'll open it and uh, see what's inside if it's well protected or not okay let's go so here we can see the bike which is quite uh, already pretty much I think it's like 90% assembled or something like that so there's a few things that still need to assemble or whatever but it looks in good, good condition we've got a box here it's pretty heavy so I'm gonna open it and see what's inside Okay, so this is the bottle holder, this is the pedals, and also a bunch of, a little toolkit with a bunch of keys and that, that could help to actually build the bike. And here, this is probably the charger. Yep, that's the charger. <coughs> this is the owner manual. I wonder where the instruction are to build the bike. That doesn't seem to be here. And here are a few stickers. Now, as you can see there there are a few uh, classes stickers that you can choose and I, I find it actually pretty funny because here I live in Canada and I don't know if you can see properly but the Canada here says it's uh, 500 watt motor and the limit is 32 kilometers per hour but this bike actually goes way faster and I think the motor on this one is 1000 so I think that's pretty funny so I think I'm going to put it on the side and then put it out and so I removed the bike, I removed everything from the box and my first thought on the bike is that it looks in really good condition it doesn't look damaged at all okay there's a bunch of uh, tire wrap that I need to remove and from what I'm saying here is that I only need to assemble and build the front the front wheel okay and here I have the front fender and I don't know if you can see it but the front wheel is actually here okay it's tire wrapped to the back 
And so I simply need to remove the tie wrap and then build the bike. Okay? And so I also noticed another small box that I'm going to open here. Okay, this is actually the front headlight. The front light. Okay, so the ins we can find the instruction in the owner manual. And I just remember as well that on the website, I think there are also videos to show you on how to build the bike. But for now, I'm just re going to remove all the foam and tire wraps and see and see how it goes. So here I just cleared the rear rack and the bolt was actually attached to it and I'm going to build this right now. So there you go, I just installed the rear rack and it seems pretty solid right now. Alright, so now let's keep going with the front of the bike. So we got the keys here for the battery. So we have the handlebar here. There's the front wheel. So right now the thing that I want to do is that I want to install this wheel because right now the, the bike just like this is not really stable. So by installing the, the wheel first I'll be able to work properly with the bike more stable. So right now I'm going to install the endel bar. So now I'm going to install the front fender. Okay, so I just installed the front fender. Now I'm going to install the headlight. Alright guys, so I'm done assembling the bike. Right now I simply need to inflate the tires, but it looks pretty good right now. Feeling pretty good on this bike. And so, as you can see right now, it's all assembled. And so, if you're looking to assemble this bike, Instead of looking at the instruction manual, which is quite, uh, well, it does the job, but I would actually recommend to uh, check the video 
to assemble the, the bike, which is on the product page. And there's a section like uh, assembly video or something. And I would actually recommend to check that video because it's much more useful and much more clear, okay? So, so that's what it is. Now uh, I'm going to inflate the tires and maybe go for a ride later on, okay? So that's it guys, let me know if you have any question and peace.